I can see it in your eyes. We met in the army. <laughs> we were all professional athletes. They called us the Olympic Five. Who's the guy on the top left? That's what I want to know. Who's the guy on the right? Angus Mitchell, our combat oh, wait, medic no. and a doctor with the New York Warriors. It was Spanow who got him assigned to our platoon. Hey, isn't that Craig Spano, the guy on the Morley's billboards? Yes, indeed. Our captain. He was the oldest, after all, and star of the New York Warriors. <laughs> he was an orphan, you know. But he loved the sport so much that he said baseball was his family. He was the <laughs> one who had Mitchell assigned to our platoon. Who is the guy? Yeah, Who's I the guy on know. the left? Ah, Victor Sukovsky, the athlete. You've probably heard of his medals. Sikovsky. Was Dunn already boxing? Yes, he was. I had already seen him fight before I even met him. He was as humble in the ring as he was in life. He'd always let his rivals take the initiative. I remember how he barely dodged the blows. If you didn't look at his feet, it seemed like he wasn't even moving. And the footwork, pure dancing. You could almost hear the music. The song would play until his opponent was exhausted. Then came the drum roll, followed by Dunn's victory by K.O. What about you? I had just signed with the Milestones. I hadn't even played my first game, but people said I had a bright future ahead of me. And you did. And you did. The cop at the hospital sure seemed happy to be the proud owner of a Tim Ironarm Thorpe autograph. Who would have thought that I'd end up becoming Tim Iron Legs Thorpe? What happened? I fought the Nazis for two years, up there in the sky, over Europe. And I never set foot in a field hospital. Three years hey. later, I crossed <laughs> the street without looking. And look at me now. Thorpe's accident. What happened to all of them? Zukovsky Hi, died Rachel. the same day the injured Dunn. Welcome. Dunn received an honorable discharge and came home. He quit boxing and opened his gym. Mitchell was redeployed to a field hospital. Spano and I continued in the Probably same lead, unit, but nothing was ever the same. You see what I meant with the last day of summer. And after the war, well, who the hell cares? I do. What happened to Spano? What happened to Spano? Well, you've seen the billboards. He made it big time. Yeah. When I was forced to retire, I got him some advertising deals. That's how I founded this agency. But then, something happened to him. He became sullen. He fell out of shape. And slowly but surely, lost touch with reality. He withdrew from public life and broke off our friendship. Haven't heard from him in, uh, what, three years? And believe me, I've tried to contact him. Uh, you think Spano was involved in Dunn's death? You think Spano might have been involved in Dunn's death? Spano? No way. He and Dunn were always... Friends. Well, Spano's changed so much that it's hard to say. What happened to Mitchell? What happened to Mitchell after the war? Mitchell? It keeps showing Who up. knows? Yeah, I'm crying. We lost touch. <laughs> it's too I hope he's doing well. I think I saw Mitchell not too long ago. I think I saw Mitchell not too long ago, but I can't remember where. Seriously? Please try to remember. I'd love to hear from him again. I'll do my best. Allow me to double your wage. You have to find the murderer. Maybe Dunn stayed in touch with Mitchell or Spano. Maybe even with both. But he never told me anything. I... Maybe Sonia I'll knows. see you in a bit. I doubt it. But that's not the only question I've got for her. May I? Right, so we're going to call Sonya now. Deduction. The clues collected allow new deduction. Wait. What? What? Yes? Sonya? No, she's not here. Who's calling? Where is she? Where is she? On the roof. Reading the letter, sitting on the edge, a little sketchy.
Father and Spano in touch with either one. Don't do it. Please don't. Have you ever wished you'd never been born? What? Never. Luckily, that has never crossed my mind. Then you can't help me. First time was right after moving to New York. I hated my mother. She was the reason we moved from the countryside and the smell of freshly mowed grass to this dirty city and the smell of medicine. Her medicine. <laughs> That's cute. The second time Ciara. was after she died. I hated myself for having hated her before. For not having loved her enough. The third time was when my father shut himself off. I hated him for that. For abandoning me. For giving in to the booze. Now okay, he's bye. dead, so... <laughs> Take a guess. You hate yourself for hating him. You hate yourself for having hated him. Yes, but that's not the worst of it. The problem is I don't know how to live without hating him. What? Over the last few years, everything I've done was meant to push my father far away. To avoid being like him. To avoid making his same mistakes. Without him... I just don't know who I am. <laughs> and you won't even let me hate Bobby. Which might actually help me. The more you hate, the worse you feel. The more you hate, the worse you feel. You think I don't know that? I need someone to blame. Oh my gosh. Without that someone, I have only myself to hate. I'll find the person who did this. I promise. Let me have my doubts. Although, you've already come so far. I'm sorry I haven't been a little more grateful. In any case, you shouldn't hate yourself. You are... No, you have such good qualities. You're kind, smart, and beautiful. Are you really trying to flatter me now? No, I... Seriously, I didn't mean to... Sorry. Anyway, can you just drop the subject? <laughs> they bothered her? Did you her? go to my father's oh my apartment? Gosh. Yes. The thief went there before coming to the gym. Which leads me to believe he didn't find what he was looking for. And what was he looking for? That's what I intend to find out. With your help. War pictures. Done sold his apartment. My father sold his apartment. The new owners move in in two weeks. What? I'm sorry. I think he used the money to buy a new place with Mary Purnell. The letter you're holding explains the rest. I wish I'd had the chance to talk to her. I found a picture taken during the war. <laughs> the Olympic Five. Did you meet any of them? Besides your father and uncle? Well, Uncle Tim actually isn't my uncle. No? He and my father loved each other like brothers. Did he tell you that he saved his life? Who? Wait, Thorpe saved your father, or...? Thorpe saved your father? They were flying over Brittany in a three-unit fighter plane. Zakowski was the pilot. My father was the co-pilot, and my uncle manned the machine gun. Suddenly, enemy fire killed Zukovsky and injured my father, which is why he Oof. never boxed again. My uncle jumped out of the gun turret, ran to the cockpit, and managed to pilot the plane to safety. Oh, the times my father told me that story. And now... I have your uncle. You still have your uncle. Yes, I guess you're right. Maybe he can also save me. Can you tell me about Spano? Did you ever meet Spano? What can you tell me about him? I think Spano? I saw him once. I keep saying Spano. I was just a little girl. I think my uncle turned him into a star. 
That was a long time ago. I found a baseball glove with Spano's autograph in your room. Oh, I've never seen it. My father must have put it there. Although I don't remember him having a signed glove. What about Mitchell? Did you ever meet Mitchell, the doctor? Mitchell? The lizard? No, never. Why? Oh, nothing. I think I've seen him somewhere. Wait. Was he the, the lizard? I saw your old room. I think he has That's something to do with this. Stop, or I'll end up hating you. <laughs> I'm also a fan of Frank Papalia. Oh yeah, the poster. I only liked him because my father thought he was too modern. The music box you still keep. It's odd that there are practically no toys or memories of your childhood in the room. Except for a small music box. That box? It might just be my last happy memory. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates. This is interesting. So, my father drew a treasure map for me. They always have different, I like, gameplay stuff. House, one clue at a time. Or different scenes. This enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. X marks the spot, so I, I dug to find my treasure. Hmm. I loved the music it played. The ballerina and the little secret compartment. Oh, the secrets I kept in there. I think it's the first time I heard you call your father, Daddy. Uh, really? Uh. Hit the music box under the swing tree. Fire tree. The abacus. Did the abacus inspire you to dabble abacus. in finances? <laughs> the most useful <laughs> gift anybody has ever given me. A gift from your mother, a gift for your from my Uncle Tim. A gift from your Uncle Tim? Yep. He used to say that in this day and age a woman should know how to count. My father didn't agree, but he didn't oppose it either. People thought he was a liberal because of his attitude towards racial issues. But at home, things were different. Yeah, great taste in music. Your dad had great taste in music. So, better taste than I had as a child? Well, now you've put me on the spot. You don't know how happy that makes me. Are you cold? Are you cold? A little. Maybe I should go. Anyway. Thanks for the company. Yep, yep. Sonia, thank you. Aren't you coming? I knew I was looking at a solution, but what exactly needed solving? Oh boy. All right, let's see. Uh So the place by there is it's probably the same as that. Hmm. Maybe Dunn used the same hiding place once more. Uh-oh. Wait, this is one of the dudes that I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bust you while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. Oh no! Damn, our park. Whoa there. Oh. 
I pressed it. <laughs> I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bust you while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. There we go. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It's not the lack of credibility in the screenplay that bothers me. Thank Plus, you. it's actually pretty handy. When a crook talks to you in the middle of a fight, you know you're up against a rookie. Help him. And if he doesn't even say, help me please. Oof. What, he landed. I guess okay. Tried pulling me, pulling me off the edge though. Which wasn't very nice, but hey, we got him, right? Technically. What did they say? Nothing serious. I lost another one of my nine lives. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Got many left? I'm in the red. <sighs> He hasn't woken up yet? Nope. Nope. We're gonna be here a while. Vulpine. Seven letters. Uh... Cunning. Cunning? C-U-N-N-I-N-G. It fits. I hope it doesn't throw anything off. Let's see. Come on. Ah, they reek of sardines. It's probably our guy. Relatively small shoes, okay. He has the tear in his pants. Yep. Looks like you were right with cunning. Ah. What are you looking for? Nothing. Will he live? He'll live. So what have you found out? Randall Lee. Apparently in love with our penitentiary system, judging by the frequency of his visits. Theft. Assault. Extortion. You know, minor things of the sort. Any partners? Always works alone. He's never ratted out his employers, provided they exist. Did you find anything? Is this our man? Do you have proof? Let's see here. Well, he reeks of sardines and... Uh, can that match anything? Let's see, Anier wears small boots, and there was a sign thing, and, uh, there's that. Damn it. Wrong one. Okay. So, small shoes, that, and... Nail souls. No, shoot. Piece of 
jean fabric on the stairs. All right, let's try this one and this one. That matches. Hmm. It looks like we know who tore his pants following Mary Purnell up to the rooftop. He's at least getting hit with murder. His pants have a tear in them. I found a piece of that same fabric at the gym, on the stairs that lead to the rooftop where we found the second body. Makes sense, but how many pairs of ripped pants are walking around New York City? <laughs> I don't call that evidence. Yeah, unless if it matches exactly how his are. Uh, sign a document with this shoe or foot. He wears small boots and finally he was looking for at Dunn's place. Try that. No. Okay, that one worked. The guy who broke into the gym in Dunn's place has a thing for sardines. Did you smell his breath? Right, because there's only one sardine fanatic on this side of the Hudson. I need something more. Who do the footprints belong to? There we go. Small, sorry, uh, small shoes and where is it? There, that one. I He's gonna say, there's only one person that wears this. Next to both the gym murders. Unless you're telling me that she was a limited edition, I'm gonna need something else. I'm starting to think we should have read his file. Two thugs tried to scare me into leaving the case. One of them was trigger happy. that one of the thugs that attacked me the other night had a snout just like his i'm sorry but you can't incriminate someone based solely on species what Bro. else you got oh my god what it's all matching mean? i've given you four pieces of evidence none of which are conclusive he tried to throw me off the rooftop yeah you're right i'm sorry he's our man no he's not our man make up your mind he's just a puppet Someone is pulling his strings. Hmm. Could it be Yale? Uh, Yale? Nah, he's innocent, but he's hiding something. He's hiding something for sure. But I don't think he did it. By the way, was he discharged? His room is empty. They let him out yesterday. He's in police custody now. You can tell he's an athlete. Made quite the comeback. Anyone else would have taken ten times as long. Anyway, he better be fine. You know they've ordered me to escort him to Madison Square Garden on the day of the fight. Hmm. First news. That's the first I hear of it. Quick, what do you want? Good cop or bad cop? It's a hit. Good cop. I'm the good guy. <laughs> Good thing someone took out the trash. <laughs> no wonder you were saved by garbage, you piece of trash. But you're gonna wish it hadn't. Go to hell, you dog. T Don't pay any attention to flat feet, Mr. Lee. Yeah, you're in a tight spot, but there's always a way out. We have proof that you killed Joe Dunn and Mary Purnell. I'll call your bluff. You ain't got nothing. Are you acquainted with our usual witness program? For a modest sum, they'll say they saw your sorry snout when and where we tell them to. We're no strangers to false evidence. We could arrest your sorry ass for more crimes than you've committed. Although it is odd that my partner won't offer you a deal in exchange for telling us who hired you. What can you offer me? 
specify that you help me on the roof? We could significantly reduce your sentence. I could testify that you helped me on the rooftop. You're pathetic. Is that why you didn't... never got in the police ah, force, damn it. Black said? Did you fail the good cop, bad cop test? I won't say a word. And believe me, you stand to lose. I didn't Care know for what a I piece said. of advice. If I were you, I'd fear for my life. I'm afraid that... Whoa! Oh, snap. Watch out! Oh, boy. Where is he at? Where is he at? I see him. I see him. The dog. Luckily, Smirnov's wound wasn't as bad as Randall's. Oof. Unfortunately, the police found nothing on the nearby rooftops. Our best shot at finding the killer was gone. So I went back to my previous lead. Oof. That didn't fare out very well. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates, so my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. So find out where this is at, I'm assuming. What is this? Smirnoff residence. Your Let's dad. No, I got you with my lasso. Can you quiet down, kids? Dunn got killed for stirring the hornet's nest. And you confessed your crime. Kids, please. He'd been investigating athletes for months, including Helen Moore and Al Stone, among others. Mm. Dunn's notes aren't all that clear, and I'm not sure what he was after. Mm. But I'd say we're facing a widespread corruption case. Well, if you're right some dangerous evidence. Bring it here ASAP. Sure, but there's something important that I need to finish first. Done against corruption. Uh-oh. Nobody's untouchable, so I'm starting to think possibly Smirnoff. Oh god, I should have read his uh his file. We could have found out <laughs> if he was. I wanted to follow a certain lead Oops. on my own before Smirnov had the chance to see anything. Ah, this guy. According to his notebook, Dunn had seen Craig Spano at Sam's diner just four days before his death. You, Spano. Get out of here, pussy. It's a hit. I'm sorry about what happened to Mary. You're sorry? I'm the one who's sorry. You know what it's like to run this place alone? What the hell do you care, anyway? Beat it! It might have been easier to slap the information out of him. 
but I decided to trust in a universal truth. Everyone is guilty of something. You don't know who I am, right? Don't know and don't care! Come on, spit it out! I'm John H. Blackmore, public health inspector. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> there are some real freaks around here, so I have to be firm, you know? Have you eaten? Dinner's on the house. After you answer my questions? After you answer my questions. Sure, go ahead. Your call. Always at your disposal, Inspector. Ask away. Fear turned him soft and made him talk. Sure enough, Don had been there a few days back with a chimpanzee who matched Spano's description. Hmm. Apparently, the guy still lived with his father. Dunn said he couldn't stay there a day more. For the time being, he would move into his place. Wait a minute. What does public health services have to do with that chimp? He's a colleague. We worked together at the Consumer Protection Office. He came in pretending to be a client, and you insulted him. Me? Well, I barely even talked to him. Which is even worse. You left Sam speechless. Okay. Clues collected allow me to make new deductions. Dunn had taken Spano to his place. I wanted to believe uh -oh. that somebody's coming up when behind Randall him. Lee broke into the apartment, Spano fled to his former address. But where could that be? Greg Spano is an orphan who thought baseball was his only family. No. Maybe this one? And... That. Okay. I got you. Lives in Greenwood. His jacket was going through the door. If the living have rich and poor neighborhoods, so do the dead. Greenwood in Cemetery? In the mid 19th century. Greenwood became the resting place to the city's most distinguished citizens. Thinkers, scientists, writers, inventors, artists, businessmen, politicians, police officers, thieves, pimps, and murderers. That means climbing over the entire thing? Here lie the bodies of the soulless mind. I mean, I guess cats are good at climbing. From the ground up. Now you know where to go to become somebody in the Big Apple. It reminds me of the private detective from uh, Heavy Rain. Which was a fantastic game as well. Hudson John. A Celtic cross. Supposedly, the ring keeps the devil at bay. By Wait, John, yesterday? Sun, is that one of the characters from the another one of the games? And we found the baseball. What is this? 
the the book four on each bases one. guarding their father. Nineteen fifteen. Harry Bradwick, he wrote the the book, Father of Baseball. Damn, they take it very serious. Huh. According to the book I found at Dunn's place, fans of the sport leave baseballs on Bradwick's tomb to pay their respects. It's strange that I don't see any. Maybe they're gone with the wind, or somebody claimed them as part of their inheritance. We found a baseball. What's this? Somebody was eating here? Some Chinese food. Still hot. Oh wait, there's something underneath the tree. If this had been here over 30 minutes, it'd be covered in ants. So someone is right nearby. Let's check out this one over here. Okay. Maybe not. See another card on the uh, thing. Hmm. <laughs> Sims. What's that one say? William something Sims. And you lived for others. Your family never forgets you. Kind of weird that he has a thing that's like connected to it. Uh, yeah, I show I'm kind of lost. Oh, wait. wait. I never trusted angels. When they fall, they become demons. Turn into demons. They turn into demons. He said that earlier. Cool. I see it. I see them. Ah, there he is. I found a baseball glove at Joe Dunn's place. A glove signed by a great star. I couldn't believe my luck. Always been a Warriors I've fan. I've always been a New York Warriors fan. 
Although, to be honest, they're not what they used to be. Yep, they just haven't been the same without Craig Spano. Joe Dunn met with someone at the diner, close to his gym. Then he took that person to his house, so that he didn't have to live at the cemetery. I would have never guessed the person's identity. Cigarette. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Both these uh, are the absolute worst. What a waste, man! He couldn't have gave it back to him. I'm John Blackside, private investigator. How's Joe? One question at a time. It's my turn. Your turn. I should meet with Dunn. Why did you meet with Joe Dunn? Because he was looking for me. He came here one morning, but I was uh, too embarrassed to come down because he left a baseball with his initials on, on by the tombstone. Sam Steiner, tomorrow, 12.30 a.m. Because he, he knew they want to kill me. What did he want from you? And who wants to kill you? One question at a time. How's Joe? What would happen if I told him the truth? Would he lose it? Could I take that chance? He's been murdered. Joe Dunn is dead. Murdered. I told you, Joe! How did it happen? One question at a time. One question at a time. My turn. Uh... Why are you hiding here? Why are you hiding here? Because I, I fear for my life. Because it, this is the only place where I've, I feel safe. Because Dunn took me to his place, but the guy who ruined my career came to kill us both. Because it's the same bastard that had Joe killed. Our old friend, the surgeon. Ah, the surgeon. Guaranteed. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's the dude. It's this dude. Is Mitchell the surgeon? Is he the person behind all of this? That surgeon you mentioned, is he? My turn. Surgeon could be behind the entire I case. I want to know why I should trust you. Is I could have killed you because I never lie. Do it for our friend Dunn. Do it for Joe Dunn, our common friend. It's my turn. That surgeon that you mentioned, is he in this photo I got here? Ow! Hey! Ah! Hey, that toss was... Huh? And he's gone. Both my ear and my self-esteem would hurt for days. But at least I had a new lead to follow. The surgeon. 
<laughs> the bastard had avoided my scrutiny by passing as a hospital doctor. But now, all of this my senses were on guard. Still. No matter how good the disguise or how well he hid, I would find him. He's following him. Unless if they only made like one scene of somebody uh, following him in the car. So what you're saying is... All right, well, 